Recovering from the latest destruction and preparing for what's to come. Kramatorsk is the latest victim of Russian shelling. An airstrike in the industrial hub city center left one person dead and several injured on Thursday. There was a big explosion. It was so big that me and my wife, who were at home, felt everything fly up into the air. A sense of dread is in the air. Russia has now set its sights on securing Donetsk as forces attempt to push deeper into the Donbass. Kramatorsk is expecting to be next on the front line following Moscow's capture of Lysychansk in the neighboring Luhansk region, now fully under Russian control according to the Kremlin. For Tetiana, it's all too familiar. Back in 2014, there was shouting as well, but now it is much worse. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian army exchanged fire with Russian forces just kilometers away in Kramatorsk's sister city, Slovyansk. People who had previously decided to stay put board this train heading west, following repeated calls from Ukrainian authorities to evacuate. The situation in Slovyansk is very bad. There's no water, no gas. We can't go outside because of the shelling all the time. Both cities are of huge symbolic importance to Moscow, which sees them as the cradle of separatist insurgency it supported back in 2014, when the pair was seized by Russian-backed separatists before being recaptured three months later. A fact that Ukrainian soldiers are hanging on to. They've repelled attacks here before and are determined to do so again.